shit. It's been forever. Um, it feels weird even making a video because it's been so long, I feel like, where I've just sat down. But here I am sitting and talking to YouTube. <sighs> oh, I'm getting chills because um, I'm drinking a slushie. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know, I've just been feeling, like, I'm gonna be 22 in, like, a week and a half, like, it's insane how fast it's coming up, and I feel like my early 20s is going by so fast, but, like, I'm not having that much fun. <laughs> you know how people say like, oh, time flies when you're having fun. Mm. I don't know. I feel like time just flies the older you get. I feel like soon I'm going to be like 25 or like 30 and I'm going to be like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> People told me these are going to be the best years of my life, but honestly, it's been very, like, confusing and very, I don't know. Frustrating. Not really where I thought I was going to be. I remember thinking, like, when I was a teenager... That in my early 20s, you know, I would be living in Toronto and probably making a lot more money than I am and having a time of my life. But honestly, I feel like that I haven't really reached like the best part of my life yet. I don't know. I have my own apartment. I have a job that pays me pretty well. I'm in school to become a nurse. I have a boyfriend who I love. And other things that are great in my life, but... I don't know. It's hard to know if, like, this is the life I want. Or if I wanted to, like, you know, drive around in a van or travel Canada, like, I don't know. I can't really travel outside of Canada right now anyway because of coronavirus, but I don't know. It just, like, you know, I've been living this kind of, like, normal life, like, oh, you know, I'm in school, I work. I, you know, usually I have fun on the weekends with friends or whoever, family, or my boyfriend. It's just like, I don't know, things are getting kind of dry. I feel like, you know, I should be experiencing more or something. I don't know, it's weird. Another thing, I may have COVID. <laughs> Because I was exposed to somebody with COVID, like, less than a week ago. So I'm self-isolating. And plus I have wisdom tooth pain, which is really, really hurting. Um, I just kind of got over a sore throat and, like, some other symptoms. And that's why I was thinking that I may have COVID. So I got tested uh, two days ago and I'm waiting for the results. But I called my work and let them know that, like, you know, I was exposed, so I can't work until I find out if I'm negative. Um, yeah, so. <sighs> Today and yesterday, I've just been feeling, like, so unhealthy, like. 
I've been eating too much food. I literally have a skip the dishes order on the way right now from Eastside Mario's. <laughs> I think it's some kind of like pasta. And I haven't used skip the dishes in a while. So I'm like pretty proud because I was really addicted to it for a while. Like I was using it like fucking every other day kind of thing. And I spent like a lot of money on it. Like hundreds of dollars. <sighs> so it's kind of addicting because it's so convenient. Literally you just pick it up at your doorstep and like you have a ready made meal. But I don't know. It's not worth it when you can make it yourself or just walk somewhere and go pick up your food. Like or like I don't have a car. But you know. I guess it depends how you look at it. Like, some people pay more money and save on time. And it is conven convenient, but if you want convenience, you're probably going to be spending more in the long run. So, that's the, that's the thing with Skip the Dishes. That's why it's, like, a catch because... Or it gets you because, yeah, it's convenient, but... You're probably going to be paying like five to ten or even more money more than you would need to if you like say went and picked it up yourself or you know whatever but you can like also look at it like what if you were to sit in the restaurant you'd be tipping the waitress like you'd probably be getting drinks I don't know it's the way you look at it but that should be here in like 20 minutes and I don't know, I did my makeup today to make myself feel better, and it sort of made myself, like, I always feel, like, a little bit better when I look better, and when I put a little bit of effort into myself, because when I just literally, like, don't shower, don't put makeup on, and just wear raggedy clothes and throw my hair in a bun, I usually don't feel the greatest about myself, but if I wear makeup, sometimes it makes me feel better. I don't know if you can tell I'm wearing orange eyeshadow. <sighs> but, guys, life is just, like, so tough. I don't even know if anyone's watching. That's the thing, the, the thing about my YouTube channel is, like, you know, there were times where I would get lots of views and people had a lot, big interest in me. And then, you know, then it would not be so popular and everything. And now it's just like, we never hear from her again. Or we never hear from her anymore. So I'm probably not going to like check up on her or whatever. But there, throughout the years, there were some people like, names stick out in my head who would, like, check up on me and comment on all my videos and, like, actually helped me out and, like, financially and everything, like, in the past with my YouTube channel and really given me amazing advice and been really nice to me when I was going through hard times and, like, I think that's why I always come back to YouTube with, like, you know, videos like this, updating on my life, because I don't know if those people are still out there wondering how I'm doing. It's kind of interesting to think about just random people, like, in the world who are living their own life and have their own problems wondering how I am, you know, because most of the time I just feel like, you know, no one cares about my problems. No one cares about other people's problems. Everyone's just living for themselves. People just think, oh, that person will get by. They'll be fine. And it's like, yeah, we will get by. But it's always nice to have people who care about you, right? So, I don't know. I've just been... Like, I go through days where I'm happy and then days where I'm just really depressed. And today, maybe it's because I haven't even really been out of the house or done anything. I did clean. I cleaned and it looks really good, but other than that, I haven't really done a lot to, like, further myself in life or be productive. And I like to be very productive. I have a test that I sh need to do tomorrow and 
tomorrow I'm probably going to focus on that, like studying and everything. I'll get my study supplies set out like the night before. And so I'll be ready to just do it as soon as I wake up and everything. But it's nice with online school because you can kind of do it whenever you want with certain classes. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just I guess today is a lazy day, but I just feel like I have so many of those. And also... I'm self-isolating, so I'm not even, like, able to ask anyone to hang out. The only one I can hang out with is my boyfriend, and I just feel like he's, like, sometimes I feel like my boyfriend is, like, bored of me or something. I know that's probably not the case. He has his own issues, and a lot of times I just, I'm selfish, and I think, you know, it's because of me or whatever, but sometimes I just think, like, oh... Like, he must be, you know, fed up with me and just, you know, I'm probably annoying to him and he's probably, like, bored of me and, like, you know, he's 22 and he probably just wants to live as a youth and be able to, like, hook up with people. But then I think, like, oh my god, that's so not him. Like, he would never, ever, ever, ever think that way, but, like, that's just how I think about it. Like, I don't know. We're each other's first, like, kind of serious relationship, so. Part, and part of me thinks, like, when we got together, he got with me because it was, like, out of a desperation thing and, like, the living situation. He needed some place to go and someone to help him. And I was there when he needed me and, like, now it's like, is this who I really want to be with for the rest of my life? Like, like at first, like the summer we met, like he was so into me, like head over heels, but time went on and stuff and things changed and stuff. And like, then when, you know, we started talking again, something happened and like, I feel like maybe he wasn't, like, as into me as he was, like, at the beginning or whatever. Oh, anyway, this is making me sad. This was a long time ago, but I just sometimes get scared that, like, people are pretending to, like, want to be with me or be my friend or like me or talk to me or be my boyfriend or something like that. Like, I think it comes from insecurity. I think, And I've learned I'm a very insecure person. And I hate it. I don't want to be... Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'll show you one of my kittens. They bring me joy. This is... Oh. Who are you? I think this is Alien. It's either Alien or Venture, one of the boys. Willow had three kittens. And they were actually alive this time. They'll probably be leaving us in like two or three weeks. And it makes me sad. Because I love them. And I can't keep them. Because we already have one cat. And I can't really afford another one right now. We, don't, we just don't really have the space for it. And my boyfriend doesn't own one. <sighs> anyway. is my life right now you know when I'm 22 I really just want to like change like <laughs> and I know everyone says that like oh my you know whatever year I'm gonna like new new year new me or whatever it's like you know on new year's new year new me it's like no one ever sticks to the changes you always just like start something for maybe like a week and then fail and go back to your old ways and that's how I feel like with my birthday, it's going to happen. But, like, part of me really just wants to try. <laughs> I want to try to, like, stick to some sort of, like, routine and, like, change my habits and be a better version of myself. But 
I don't know. Does that ever really work for people? I know when it happened to me a few years ago, it was out of the blue and it was after being in a very depressing situation for a long time. I'm out of the blue, I just like transformed my life. Lost a shit ton of weight, got skinny and gorgeous and like did all sorts of fun stuff. And then I found my boyfriend during that time. <laughs> Funny how life works, but... I don't know. I'm just in a weird place in my life. I really am. Like, it makes me emotional because, like, I want to go back 